Mazda has long resisted the urge to go full electric, but it can't do so any longer. So here is its first mass-produced electric vehicle, the MX-30. Never mind the fact that it's called an MX instead of a CX, when in fact it's a crossover and not a sports car. There's a lot to talk about here, so let's get to it. The CX-30 is, like I said, a crossover, but it's got a sloping rear hatch to give it more of a coupe-like look. As you can see, it's got four doors, but just like on an old RX-8, they are suicide doors that Mazda calls freestyle doors. Now the design is a little bit different from what we're used to from Mazda. You can see at the front, it's got slim headlights and the grille is a lot slimmer than you're used to in other models. Moving to the side, you can see that there's lots of black plastic body cladding just like on the CX-30. At the back, you can see the sloping rear hatch like I said earlier and the D-pillars feature the Mazda script written on it. The grey roof reaches back towards the taillights and there's also this huge black plastic rear bumper. You can see here there is no B-pillar and the interior is very similar to that of the Mazda 3 but with the addition of a huge touchscreen below the air vents for controlling the aircon as well as a floating center console. The MX-30 is powered by a front electric motor making 141 horsepower and 264 newton meters of torque. It also gets a version of Mazda's G vectoring control system dubbed EGBC and that uses the electric motor to better control the body movements. There's also a 35.5 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery which can be recharged through either a 6.6 kilowatt AC charger or 50 kilowatt DC fast charger. The latter will allow the car to be charged from 30 to 80 percent in just 30 to 40 minutes. No details on range yet, but reports are saying that this car will come with a range of about 209 kilometers. That may be a little bit short by modern standards, but Mazda says it's good enough for most journeys. And if that's not enough, there will also be a range extender version coming with a rotary engine. So there you have it, the brand new Mazda MX-30 electric vehicle. Is this a good first step towards electrification? Let us know in the comment section. Until next time, thank you for watching.